Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. It is Thursday the 8th of November. I hope everybody is well and hope you had a good day. Um, so it is now the evening so we're going to do something a little bit different right now. Um, we are going to do an unboxing of an advent calendar. Now I have seen some other people doing this um, and I thought it looked like a really really cool idea. I thought it looked like a lot of fun. So I thought you know what I'm going to give it a go. Why not? So after looking around at some of the advent calendars that were available, and when I was looking around, I'm talking about um, non-chocolate, non-confectionery um, calendars. So your beauty calendars, um, your, your bathing calendars, your glam calendars, everything like that. Um, I sort of thought, what if I was going to be buying um, a glam calendar um, in my budget or, you know, something that's not going to blow the bank and have Daddy Flamingo shouting down the phone, oh my God, what have you spent the money on type thing? Um, what would I be looking at? Um, and I ended up picking um, the Wilkinson's uh, advent calendar here. Um, it is a countdown to Kissmas. There we go. So just on there. You can see that okay so i've tried not to look at the back of the calendar because i really don't want to um spoil the surprise of what's inside you can kind of guess by this different shapes of things that's on there what possibly might be inside um so you can see like the outlines of different windows um but you know obviously you don't really know until you open it so guys everybody get a cup of sit back and relax and we shall get started straight away. So I'm really, really looking forward to this because I've never done anything like this before. Um, and I said I was looking to mix things up on the channel a little bit. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. So if you do like what we're doing here, please give us a thumbs up. That would be hugely, hugely appreciated. Okay, so let's get going. So number one is there. Okay, so it's going to perforate all the way around. So you can, I always say it's perfect at each side. Then it pulls down like that. Okay. Ooh, right, okay, let's see what's in here. This is it's a lipstick. Two seconds, can't get it out. Okay. Okay, the first thing I can see is they're fastening quite well. Okay, so that is the first item. You'll see that there. That is a lipstick and that colour. So got a colour on. So this is lipstick kiss. There's no colour, but as you can see, it's sort of like a, a sort of coral orange colour. Um, interesting. We'll see how that one goes. I quite like that. Um, right, we're going to move straight on to number two. I like advent calendars when they're all all the numbers are spread out and you don't quite know where the next one's gonna be. Oh there it is. Oh I found it, I found it. I, found it. I like it because the doors all seem to be like little trap doors so they're like pulled down like that. I don't know what's open. Oh, this is a little heart shaped item. What have we got? That is what does it say? Perfect your pout. Oh, it's like a little lip gloss. Sorry, guys, couldn't see probably. There we go. Ooh. Excellent. I'm liking that. There we go. Just to the left. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. Next one. Let me see. Yeah, I can't find it. Isn't that all the excitement with the advent calendar? Looking for the doors. Right, here we go. Here we go. I was nearly about to start kicking and screaming there, thinking there was no number three, but I found it right. Oops. <laughs> okay. So, ooh. Oh, it's a little silver glitter. The other one. And it says party on the front of it. I can't get them out of the one. That's one thing is that are actually in really well. I don't know if you're going to end up with that little drop. How cute is that? It would be better if I hold it like that. Gonna focus on that or not? There we go. It's like a little silver. Looks, I can't really put it on my nails, so I've got. Uh, oh, it's more like a silver, an actual silver than just a glitter. That is cool. I'll show you that again. I'm really liking that. It's good. Okay, next one we're on to number four. 
Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oops. Oops. Just dropped it. Oh, it's a little pink. You know those little hair bands that are great for. I'll use these when I was on holiday because I thought it was really good, like for in the pool and stuff. That's a little teeny tiny one. Cool. Like, oh, and did you know with these little hair bands, um, if they get stretched out of shape, you just put them in hot water and they do regain the tightness again. Because I found after a while mine was seen to be unraveling. Um, and it was actually Madeline who gave us the hack of that. So you put them in hot water and they do actually regain the tight little shape again. Okay, moving swiftly on to number five. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's another of the little hair bands, but that one's clear. Which is nice. I guess with it being a different colour, it's not quite the same item. Um, I, w I would say if I was opening this on a daily basis um, over Christmas, I think I prefer the cosmetic items than the bobbles. But still, it's fun. Still fun. Still nice to get something different. Okay, number six. Long one across at the bottom. I would say be careful when you're opening the calendar if you really like you want your perforations perfect because I get a bit mm, about like things like that a little bit not OCD I wouldn't say but I'd rather it didn't rip like that but that's probably just me opening it and trying to make sure that you guys can see as well but I've got something in a little tube here that is so kissable lip gloss ooh I hope it's that colour. I really do. It's like sort of like a coral stroke raspberry colour. We haven't, it hasn't actually got any. It hasn't got any. Unless that is like going to be the name of the of the colour. But I can't see. That's the only thing I would say. Is it doesn't say like oh it's like pinky red or blush or something like that. That looks really nice. Let's see what it smells like. Because sometimes lip glosses smell funny. Really have much of a smell. Right, okay. Excellent. Very good. Um, okay, what's next? What's next? What was that number? That was number six. So number seven. Quite exciting. See what's behind number seven. Ooh. It's a little eyeshadow. Ooh, sorry, I'll just put that in the middle. It's like a dark brown colour, but it's pigment. It's got lots of pigment in it. Ooh, can you see that? Oh, can you see the sort of it's got a little bit of glitter, a little, little bit of iridescence in it as well. I hope the camera's picking up on that. That is lovely. Ooh. I'm hoping I've got time to end the video and then I might have a quick test of these things as well. Oh, I really, really like that. Right, next one is number eight over here. Never. It's a little beauty blender. Do you know what? That is really, really good. I'm just going to show you. So it's a pink beauty blender, but I turned it aside. It's quite narrow. Do you know what? That is actually really good. Sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes with beauty blenders, when you've got quite a big fat ones, when you're sort of doing like around this area, especially I've got to be quite careful with my lashes. That is fantastic. I hope that that is as good as it seems. I'm really, really impressed. I really like that. I didn't think I would be so obsessed about a beauty blender, but I'm loving it. Loving that. That's a really good one. Right, swiftly on to number nine here. Okay, it's another one of the little bobbles in turquoise. Like an aqua colour. I mean, it's not the best thing to get in the advent calendar, but what I probably would do is just keep them and take them on holiday next year. So that's not too bad. It's all right. Nine. It's ten. I've lost ten. Lost it. Let me see. It's always the one you're like looking at, isn't it? You just can't see it. Oh, there's ten. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, it's another lip gloss. I think it might be the same colour as the other one. Let's have a look. Oh no, it's not. One's pinker than the other. Can you see that? Is it coming up on the camera? No. Can you see that? Oh, my phone's ringing. I can hear my phone ringing. It's Jason. It's Daddy Flamingo. That is so good, like, halfway through a video, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I've missed him. Oops. I'd have to ring him back. We keep missing each other. Like, we've done that for the past four days. He rings me. I miss the call. I ring him. He misses the call. Yada, yada, yada. Like, today was the first time I'd actually spoken to each other since he left on Monday. 
anyway I digress I shall ring him back straight away after this okay so this is the two shades of lip gloss that you've got so one of them's pinkier than the other guys I'm hoping these products are good because I'm liking them I'm getting a good feel for them right so that was number 10 moving on to number 11 do you know what do you know what it is right doing this I feel really really naughty like I shouldn't be doing this like I'm, I'm on number 11 which would be like the 11th of December and we're currently on the 8th of November Ooh. oh <laughs> oh my goodness me I haven't had any of these for years it's toe separators <laughs> how cool love it yeah toe separators excellent I like it I like it there we go so that was number 11 number 12 so we are now halfway through oh i've just seen the size of the door for 24 it looks brilliant right number 12 number 12 let's open this and it is an eyeshadow applicator well that's very handy because a couple of doors ago we did get a little eyeshadow so there we go it's a little one of the applicators i've never really had many of these they normally come you know with some eyeshadows and i don't normally use them because i normally use the ones out my set and i don't have one of those so i've never really used one so maybe i'll have to give that a go excellent i mean it wasn't the best thing to get but considering you've got an eyeshadow in there as well and you've got that earlier on in the calendar oh we've got another um little nail varnish here which i'm going to try and get out and i'm now wrestling with the advent calendar come on come on nail varnish you can do it come in sorry just been looking at the top of my head are we all still relaxed here guys did we get a cup of before i started i'm obviously trying to make sure that this video doesn't go on too long get this out right okay oh here it is here it is right it says candy kiss i don't know if that's supposed to be the color what is it party you see that silver one says party and this one here in the pink says candy what i probably will do is try these colors on my toenails because i've normally always got gel on my nails because i've obviously got my extensions that's another good one liking that liking that a lot um 14 14 was that 14 or no, 13 i've lost it oh there it is at the top right okay here we go number 14 number 14 right here we go oh nailed it ah oh, it's a little nail nail file a memory board it says kiss oh love it really handy do you know what it is that is so handy just to keep me back that's excellent it's a nice one as well I mean, obviously, most of the time I've got my extensions on, but I don't always have my extensions on. And when I take them off, I do need always need to keep on top of keeping my nails filed down. Don't hate that at all. That's fabulous. Right, number 15, I found it. This one's going down. You look at the state of this advent calendar. Goodness me. Right, okay. Going down, going down, going down. 15. Right. Oh. Ripped it. That's the only thing I would say is some of the perforations you have to be really, really careful, especially if you're a bit, ooh, we've got a lip liner, especially a bit OCD. We've got a little lip liner here, don't hate it. Again, there's no specific colour on there. There we go, looks nice. Give that a shot at the weekend, excellent, if not before. Open it. I feel so naughty, opening an advent calendar in November. This is so much fun. I should do more unboxings. I like it. Ooh. Mascara. Now, any of you guys who know me know that I'm a massive lash fan. I have never been without my lash extensions since April of this year. Since I first got them done, I've never looked back. I love them. Love them so much. But obviously, I've still got my bottom lashes to contend with. And I've got quite a good set of bottom lashes as well. Ooh. Scary. Wrinkly forehead. Um you've got to wrestle with some of these mind right i'm hoping it's black otherwise i don't really go for anything but right okay i've just took the lid off just so i can have a look at the wand we're we gonna get that there we're we gonna go come on it's just not gonna show up is it we'll try again hello wand. right it's not gonna show you but that is quite similar i'm currently using the roller lash from benefit and do you know what that wand that brush isn't too different from it actually i'm definitely going to make sure i give that a go i can't give a go tonight because i've still got mascara on my bottom lashes and um, i'm liking this I, i'm liking this advent calendar 
You see, I always normally end up going for a chocolate one because I like a bit of chocolate every day. But you know what? I'm not hating this at all. Getting a little beauty product. Right, what's this? Perfect your pout it is on the front of here. And it's green. Are we going to just start focusing here, camera? Or are we going to have words? Oh, there we go. Right, I probably just had that upside down or haven't. See, it doesn't quite tell you what these things are. So some of them you like get. I think, I think it's just like a little um, clear lip gloss. It's nice, doesn't smell horrific or anything. I'm loving the size of these products, they're good. They're good, good. Right, so moving swiftly on, we are on to number 18 already, goodness me. Can you imagine if December flew by this quick? This quick? Um, what number did I just say we were on? 17. Oh, there it is. The reason I can't see it right is because some of the numbers are this big and then some of the numbers are that big. Like, I swear to God, I mean, I'm not blind by any stretch of the imagination, but that is small. Right, something in a tube, I think, in. Oh. Oh, it's a couple of orange sticks for doing your cuticles with. Excellent. Hello, orange sticks. Very good. Right, um, and we are drawing ever closer to the end of the advent calendar. Right, 19 is here. Got it. Oh, we've got another little nail varnish. Oh, that one came out a bit easier. Oh, pop. This one says pop. Can we see that? Are we getting that? Yep, yeah, let's turn it around like the colour. So that one's more of like a, a coral pink. I'm just going to put the other one alongside it so you can see the difference in the two pinks that you've got in there. So again, it's a bit like the lipsticks. You've got two different pinky shades. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. 20. It's up here. Oh, it's another eyeshadow. Oh, do you know what? I think this is going to go really well with the other one. E, what a quinky thing. Right. Oh, I like that. Let me just open this lid so you can see. This is completely matte. This doesn't have any sparkle in whatsoever. We're going to do that. Come on, camera. Do your, do your job. That's it. Can you see that right now? If I just get the other one there, just open that up and put them alongside each other. Now, I don't normally do a lot of browns. Okay, but I think I'm going to have to try these two. So the, the dark of the two has got more pigment in it, a little tiny bit of um, glisten. And that one that I've just opened there is completely matte. Loving it. Excellent. There we go. 21. It's here, it's a long one down the side. It opens down. I suppose the only thing I would say is when you've got the doors opening downwards like that, especially if you're gonna stand it somewhere, you might wanna end up like taking these off so you haven't got them just flapping around. Ooh, eyeliner, very good. It's like the, oh, there it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, oh no, that's just the lid. <laughs> Try again, right, excellent. Let's just do a little test. Oh, lovely, oh, okay, excellent. Nice black eyeliner there, guys. The lid's not the best fitting at all. That's oh, not too bad. I probably would try a different lid, but it seems to not want to stay on, but then when I do that, it does. Right, anyway, I digress. Black eyeliner, standard. Nothing out of the order over that. 22. We've got this one down the bottom. Oh, get your glow on. It's a highlighter. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this. Let me see. Okay. They don't want to open all these things. Oh, there. Ooh. Oh, it's a highlighter, but it's actually like a bronzy colour. No way. You aren't even going to be able to see that in this light. Not at all. You kind of... Right. The only thing I would say about that... Hasn't got the nicest smell. Though. I don't hate it. But it smells more makeup-y. Like a lot of the stuff I use is more like sweet. But I suppose it's... But no, that colour is lovely. I'm definitely going to be trying that... If not tomorrow over the weekend, but yeah, that's lovely. It look honestly, it does look more bronzy in there, but then when you put it on, 
the glow from that is amazing. That might be a good alternative. You know, like for like I love in the summer like that lovely dewy look where you've got quite light across your cheekbones and your nose and stuff. Maybe that's gonna be like a good alternative for the winter. It'll still give you that lovely glow, but just to warm your skin up a little bit because you haven't got that tan sort of in contrast with that. Oh loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. We're loving it like that. I love it. Excellent. Right, that was number 22. So we're moving on to 23. So it is our second last door. And look at the state of our advent calendar. It is quite a mess. I think that's one thing I would say with this is... Um, I feel like it just looks a bit of a mess once it's all open. But hey, what can you do? 23. Something just fall... Oh. Oh, they are. See, do this is supposed to be like stick on gems or something? Can you see that? They're like they're just triangle shaped, glittery silver triangles. Right, we'll have to have a look at the end and see what that is supposed to be. And the final door on our advent calendar, number 24. No, there is no bonus 25 in this one. Oh, you see, I've ripped the bottom of that as well. Honestly, your OCD is going to go through the roof with this one, unless you're really, really careful opening it. 24. Oh. <laughs> when I saw the big door, I was like, thinking it was going to be like, I don't know, like a pri like a mini primer or something maybe, but it's just some of the... Um, more of them we had triangle things but in a bronzy colour I'm not gonna lie if I got that on Christmas Eve I'm not really sure like it's gonna make it be like oh yes Santa's coming tomorrow yay it's the same as the one that I got the day before but in silver and now I've got them in bronze like any other product out this would have been better for Christmas Eve than that right what was it Nail stickers? Alright, okay. Nail stickers. Excellent. Use the, it just says directions for use. Nail collection. Use the colours and stickers to create new look. Well, all in all, I'm quite happy with the calendar. 23 and 24 have kind of made us feel a bit in a way. Like I'd much rather get like the bigger size chocolate than some nail stickers. Like I think I would have been happy to receive them in the calendar like earlier on. But like for instance, for me like the mascara even or one of the like lip glosses or something like would have been like if I actually know the bronzer that the um, highlighter that highlighter on Christmas Eve would have been better um like I'm more than happy with everything else but I just think that's a bit of a letdown if I'm totally honest for me I mean you saw my face when I opened it and that was like my natural reaction you know you saw that I hadn't opened any of those doors before we started because I could not have made that <laughs> look as good as new again. Right, so, right, this calendar retails at £6. And that, that's why I wanted to try one of the, the budget ones. Um, as I would probably be more likely, um, you know, obviously, like, oh, I like, I like my big brands of makeup and stuff. Um, but I think with things like the Benefit one and things like that, because I'm quite specific on the products that I use, um, I don't know if I would be inclined to get the advent calendar, knowing that it's quite a lot of money and that some of the products I might not use. Whereas use getting this for six pounds, I feel like I've got quite a lot of products um, to try that you know might be good. What I will say is I do think that it was value for money. Um, like I'm more than happy if I'd have spent six pounds and bought that. I would definitely say it was value for money. I mean, you got three nail varnishes, um, two of these like, shiny lip glosses. You got some clear lip gloss, a pinky. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. You know, it's a little pinky. You know, these are sort of more 
I mean, like your relaxers, these are more like your high gloss, a mascara, a highlighter, a beauty blender, some toe separators, two eyeshadows, three bubbles, an eyebrow, an eyeshadow applicator, a lipstick, two orange sticks, a nail file, an eyeliner, a lip liner and a partridge in a pear tree for six pound all in all oh sorry and i forgot about the dodgy um <laughs> nail stickers so i would say all in all for six pounds more than happy i think that's great um but yeah we'll go think on oh, next time don't put put nail stickers as 23 and 24 for a start nobody wants to receive the same product be albeit a different color one day after the other and you've, there's so many better products in that calendar that he's going to put for Christmas Eve. Do you know what I mean? Like, even like one of the lip glosses, you're like, ooh, I'll try a new lip gloss on Christmas Eve or something like that. Not some nail stickers. Because by Christmas Eve, you've probably already sorted your nails out anyway. But yes, I'm still going to give a Flamingo family five stars out of five um, for value for money. Um, I do like the design of the calendar as well. Um, it's not too in your face, it's not too full of sand and stuff. Um, you know, they have gone for sort of this you know, quite neutral colours, which is going to blend in with plenty of people's decor. As you can see, it would fit in lovely with mine behind. We've got a grey wall, we've got obviously the white fireplace with the black. Um, it goes with my leopard print pants as well. So, you know, it's good, it's good. I'm liking it. So there you go, that was an unboxing of a uh, Wilco advent calendar for 2018. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed doing that. Um, I didn't know what it was going to be like. I've never done anything like that before. Um, so if you've managed to stick around at the end of the video to find out what we got at number 24 on Christmas Eve, um, I hope you weren't too disappointed. Number one with the product and number two with the video. So guys, with it be my first video, um, if you did like the video, please do give me a thumbs up and please comment below and tell me about your experiences. Um, what advent calendar you've got this year but honestly with it being my first one like I was a little bit nervous to be doing a different sort of video because this is not really what we generally do um, but we just wanted to mix it up a little bit um, I did speak to Daddy Flamingo earlier on tonight and we said yes let's do this so we have so I really really hope you've enjoyed it and if you have you never know in the future I might be able to do some more um, but for now guys good night sweet dreams and we'll see you all again back here very soon bye